Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. What's up, everybody? We've got a deck that even Richard would be proud of today. Lots of birds, lots of butts. So as you can see, a bunch of little cheap defenders, like a critical mass, but some of the best ones that we're gonna be getting is a card called Larger Zombie. Yeah, this deck list was brought to me on stream by my chat, so I decided to play it and make a video out of it. And my God, is this deck hilariously and hilarious and fun. It's winning with a bunch of one drop defenders like Larger Zombie. Hopefully, you know, Larger Zombie and your whole deck is meant to do one thing. It's meant to find Wing Mantle Chaplain. If you, of course, didn't know, enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 bird creature token with flying for each creature with defender you control. And whenever another creature with defender enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1 1 bird. So you are playing this go wide with a bunch of walls that will get you there eventually. And you've got a bunch of counter spells like, you know, prote uh, whatever, protect the negotiators. You've also got Knight Errant of Eos to convoke and find some more walls or maybe a Wing Mantle Chaplain. You've got Overcharged Amalgam, which you can dig with with uh, Wing uh, Knight Errant. And then of course you've got, <laughs> we've been joking about on the, ch the channel, but I, it's pretty much Kirkland Command, right? This is a budget cryptic, com cryptic command slash force of will. I don't know. Artistic Refusal is four blue blue, but has convoke. Choose one or both counter Counter target spell, draw two cards, then discard a card. If we get a critical mass of creatures, we just start actually countering our opponent. This is something that you should probably be increasing the numbers of when it comes to counter spells. This card is great. We're gonna see how we do on the ladder with this nonsensical deck. And thank you to Twitch chat for bringing this deck to, to my eyes. This hand's gas. This is exactly, this is a gamer ready hand. All right, everybody at home watching, can I get some pacas? Paka, squawk, paka. I don't know, make bird noises. We're gonna try to bird up right now. Opponent very much so looking at larder zombie and wondering right now they're looking and they're like what queue am I in? Did I accidentally queue up for a, a sealed pool? Opponent definitely wondering if they queued into a limited queue right now. They have no idea what they're looking at. I, I know they're reading the cards because I'm still reading the cards. What? Well, don't mind me. I guess that's just a gamer move. I mean, sure. Knight Aaron of Eos? Baby, I'm cooking right now. <laughs> Hold on. What what limited opponent like format am I in right now? What year is it? Knight Aaron of Eos? Hello? I can't beat this card. I have zero interactions. I just hope to make more birds than the opponent has the ability to game. I kind of like leaving a pact. No, but then we get to we we block. We block. Oh wait, I could have I could have been surveilling. I keep forgetting that this see. I don't even know that this card does anything. You know what I mean? That's like one of those situations. Oh, no, wait, I convoked last turn. That's why I did what I did. Look at this board state of standard all-stars, larger zombie, walking bulwark, lunark veteran, knight of Aaron of Eos. Feel free to concede at any point, opponent. Also force of will, by the way. I just, I don't, I don't like what you're doing with that, so. Oh, weird. Did I just gain more life? Everyone light the beam? Do it, send it in, okay? Beginning of your end step, so you're not in combat. I just need to find my bird. Give me a minute. Bird's the word. Hold the phone, mom. I think I'm gaming, ma. Hold on. I have the ability to pay one, two, three, four, right? I can convoke, I can, I can deal everything. I can do whatever I want right now. I'm just cooking out here. Now I'll attack, see what they want to do with it. They can trade however many things they want into this. Cause now we start pushing in a little bit of that, that juicy, juicy damage. Opponents like, ah, uh, do I block? What, li <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're opening it up right now. All right, LSV's limited guides, combat tricks that exist. I don't know. Uh, hold on. Let me look this up. I'm saving this for an actual like game ender. Okay. So we're going to the end of combat. We're gonna tap. Obviously, everybody knows about Larder Zombie's backup ability. I'm gonna keep that. I'm keeping that. Everybody, hold the phone. It's okay. Nobody worry. It's me, you boy. <laughs> Playing gamer magic out here. <laughs> Playing format all-stars only. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, sure, why not? Let me see what else I gotta move this around here. There's, I'm uh, sorry, I have too many things. Embarrassment of riches, really. We are gonna find Bird Mom today. Bird Mom is happening right now. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. If they trade this, whenever another non-token soldier you controls dies, they trade in the board. I kind of love that, right? Do I attack with this? I say no. I hang back for a second. Like, they'll show me what's up if right now, if they can play, like... I have got so much value. There's just so much garbage on the board. You love to see it, really. The skies are open. Finally, we can let let that the wild monster that is the ledger shredder go swinging. Don't want it. It's not bird mom. Bird mom, are you here? Bird mom. All right, everybody watching, can I get some pacas? Pacas, please. This deck is pure caca. Oh, we're about to gain some life, baby. <laughs> Again, I don't know if this deck has a good seven, but I can't imagine this being a good seven, right? Or maybe it is. You know what? I'll try it on the draw. It, it can't be that bad, right? Maybe that's a lie. Maybe it can be that bad. All right, well, uh, what do you think my deck is? Good? Wrong. That would be your first mistake. You thought this deck was good. Fool. Send it one damage. The clock is here. No problem. Kaido doesn't make flyers. Let's get it. Baby, I'm cooking right now, mom. I can't block that? What do you mean I can't block that? That's bad. All right, I probably should hold up my mana, right? Oh, this deck is locked in right now. Mom, spaghetti. Here I go. Wait, all I want to do is block right now, but it seems like I can't. I can't live my dreams of being Dwayne the Block Johnson. I got to leave up open mana? Opponent said, hell no, not that. I don't know what that does. Well, I guess better lucky than good, as they say. Well, yes. Kaido? More like Kaino. All right, opponent. You got moves? You got moves or what? Give me half an hour. My deck will, my deck will function soon. Once this Kaido gets off the board, depopulate. That's big rude. That's big rude. Were you going to try to board wipe me right there like that? You're just going to board wipe me and act like nothing happened? I guess I pass. Right now, I'm trying to take my opponent to Kaka Island, but not Kaka Island. Two very different things. Why, that's not a counter spell. Hold on. You're just gonna keep disrespecting my deck? I need some, like, honest gamer moments right now. Uh, how do you feel about this? Hot diggity dog. What are the odds they just sweep the board? I mean, I guess I'm not gonna just sit here and do nothing, so may as well. Whoo! That's some bad magic. And you love to see that. I'm gonna make them think I have counter spells. That's some bad magic right there. So the deck, you wouldn't believe it, but this is actually a bad draw before you say all the draws look like they're bad. Just clarifying that now. Yo, where are my counter spells? Will I draw Magic the Gathering cards this game? Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. All right, here it comes. I'm holding this land. Give me that good news, but that's that's actually bad news. Hold on, I don't have anything to do. Here comes Wandering Emperor. Oh, this is bad. I think that's looking pretty GG's, right? I have some major issues because... I have to imagine there are, like, sweepers in our opponent's hand right now. I wish we had artful, arti uh, artistic refusal. If they attack, this lets me know that they definitely have nonsense. That's a nonsense uh, indicator if I've ever seen one. I need to find counter magic, yo. That's not counter magic, yo. Can I draw two cards? Well, I guess that's not the worst thing I should have held on to. I, this feels really bad, but I think I ditched the knight because of my misplay. I, I poorly tapped there. I don't mind if they block here. As long as I get one damage in on Wandering Emperor, that's all I care about. No! Can I do it again? If they have a, if they have a counter spell, let's call it. Yeah, they do. GG's. We lose. We can't beat this. Not even Larder Zombie could save us from that last match, unfortunately. I have the counter spells. That's all I want now. Surge Engine, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Format All-Star? Let me guess? 
Wait, really? I need one more blue land. Like next turn is Fable, right? Well, it's either Fable or a board wipe, so I guess I can't do anything. I can't, I can't let them, I can't let them do whatever they're trying to do right now. That's making me big concerned. Thankfully, Surge Engine allows me to activate it at instant speed. What? They had it. I can't believe it. They really do play Fable. We <laughs> we have Force of Will up. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? No attacks pass. Everybody relax. Force of Will is online. If they do nothing, we animate or we activate the, the Surge engine. This is like, I guess this is cryptic. It's no, but it's it's free cryptic. This might be a, a, a poor, uh, like a, you know, Kirkland brand artistic, like Kirkland brand cryptic command. Kirkland brand cryptic command. Bars. Yeah, this is actually, no, hold on. This is better than Force because you don't even go down cards. You only go up cards and you counter a spell. I mean, you got to play something, right? Uh... They're playing the Phyrexian condom or uh, like Phyrexian flesh like skin, foreskin. I don't remember the name, but I'm choosing both modes. Daddy, I'm cooking right now, mom. Hold on. And now we're online. <laughs> Opponent, clearly you would have played around artistic refusal. Everyone knows that. One of the best cards in magic. Let's do both. Do I even care if they resolve, uh, if they resolve anything this turn? No, right? I guess if they have Brotherhood's End, that's bad. I can't let them resolve a Brotherhood's End, actually. So, I need to grow my Surge Engine. Or counter if they have a Brotherhood's End. I guess I have to counter this. Is that lethal? 8, 11? Oh, no, no, that's not lethal. Even if I had done it the other way, I don't think that was lethal, right? Because then I would have had three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, no matter what, that I would they would have always been at one, right? There you go. Oh yeah. That's it. We got the larder zombie. How do you feel about this? Okay. Play walking bulwark, as everybody knows about. Format all-star. <laughs> What do you counter in this matchup? I don't know, because there's so many bad cards. <laughs> what are the cards you counter? I'm not sure they're all bad. Should I counter this or should I counter their creature? I think I'm gonna let them let them resolve this. I wanna counter whatever creature they try to play. That it means at least I can like interact with, uh, I, I can like, uh, I don't know, but this would have put me with three. Actually, I should have countered that. Three creatures on the board means I'd start surveilling. All right, well, they counter this. That was their last mistake. Sure, pass. Resolves. I think they're trying to go for the, the big Drake. If they go for Drizzy Drake, I can get them to tap out, maybe? Okay, I got a body on the board, so now I can go ahead and go Meeting of the Minds. A Jin hitting the board now is really bad. But let's see if this resolves. So now we need to resolve a silly amount of birds. I only have two defenders. Tap, tap, tap. That's pretty much Coco. I think we play this and now we pass, right? We have the ability to cast Protect the Negotiators. Am I countering this? I am, right? I think giving them the ability to filter to their, through their deck right now is a feel bad. And then soon we'll be able to just try to resolve a wingmate chaplain chapman thing. And that's pretty good. Maybe they tap. Oh my god, another Talarian terror. I am the big sad. I guess let's see if this resolves. If this resolves, I can play wingmantle chaplain first. Or I can play it and have it counter. Format all-star? Format all-star? <laughs> Obviously you should have played around this one, opponent. Everyone knows about artistic refusal. Oh god, do they spell pierce me? Don't spell pierce me or negate me. Oh, that's... <laughs> 
We got a reader. Am I tapped out? I don't know. Oh, please play a fading hope and bounce my wingman old chaplain. I would drop the errant, but then we would take too much damage from the djinn and I'm afraid of potentially dying. They have to phase out all my stuff, which they did. So see, this is the bad. That's exactly 13. No, they got us. <laughs> Oh, wait. Can I not ship any of these cards? Or do I have to? Oh, no. It's mono red. Are they going to shock this? Wow. I guess I... If they make a double play next turn, I can play... I get to draw a card, right? That's pretty good. Heck, yeah. Yeehaw, brother. Larder Zombie's probably more valuable to me than Bulwark thing. This thing has Trample, Prowess, Prowess? Oh, that's a big sad, big bad. All right. Bird up. Let's see if we can get there. All right, sure. I assume they're not attacking. Or, or they could. I mean, I don't know. It's up to them. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe I could just gain enough life to where this doesn't matter? Okay. I think now I just start attacking, right? Like, I just try to race. It has double prowess, though. So that is kind of scary to race. Oh, baby. I'm gonna hurt from this one. Because it deals with it to up to... Oh, up to one target. Okay, I'm safe. Nice! Okay. One, two, we have two defenders. They're going to be able to flip and get this invasion of uh, Ragatha, right? Ragatha? Gatha? Uh, if not creature source control would deal damage, it would deal that much plus two. Oh, God. Do I ditch the artistic refusal? Because then I get to bounce something, grow my bird. Although, being able to just counter them, I kind of want to play a ton of birds, right? But I just don't think I'll have the time. This is a human monk 4-4 body. Pretty darn good. I need to actually pitch the wingmate chaplain or whatever it is. Play there. Pass. I mean, as long as they just keep countering them out of the game, I think that's good. I know that we just discarded the whole reason why we're playing the deck, but right now we are going to still try to win with a bird. A very big bird, even. Sure. Funny enough, all my stuff perfectly blocks Felden without taking a ton of damage. Uh, let's resolve this spell first. Let's go ahead and do both modes here. Okay. So I'm taking a lot, though. Still taking a lot. Oh, I think I could have killed them. I, I, I could have killed my opponent. I just realized that right now. All right, that was that was Miss Lethal. That was on me. Sure, that can't block, so that's going to resolve. It's their burn spells that I'm afraid of, right? Block, block. All right, I'm down to seven. They're dead. I, I have them dead anyways. I gave them another turn. There is such a thing as too many birds. And uh, we're going to go ahead. Oh, this is literally the same hand. Maybe I mulligan this, actually. Hold on. Maybe I mulligan this because I have quite the nice boards. If I draw a white source, I can start cooking. Well, I guess I'm cooking unless the opponent says no. Opponent kills this. I'm very sad. But maybe they are like, oh, my God, that card is in limited. Everybody watching, that's a reader. Okay, now I've got to read this. Hold on. Okay, well, luckily, I'm very bad at drawing good stuff, so. Oh, <laughs> I love that I was like, oh, we got a reader, but I'm also reading, so give me half an hour here. Can I afford to disc? Oh, my God. Are they Esper? What are you going to do? Bounce your thing back, I guess? Oh, you're drawing a card. Does this have death touch? No. Now we surveil, then. Dude, Larder Zombie's, like, kind of cracked. Yeah. Yeah, we want that. Okay. No way. I whiffed entirely. There were no creatures in that. It was all lands in another night. What? How is that possible? Why am I so bad at this game, mom? No, dude, that was supposed to be value. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. Opponent, like, took care of the 4-4. Four four. That's fine. Whatever. That's, that's not what we needed. Opponent not really sure what's going on here. 
I'm not really sure what's going on here. Come on, children's card games, please. Give me good stuff. Like this is not the worst. I guess there's no way I miss any more, right? It's just not possible. Might and Meekstone. Are they gonna give something minus five, minus five? <laughs> you know, secretly, minus five, minus five, minus five is the play. Or maybe not so secretly. Okay, now we're gaming, baby. Uh, how do you feel about this opponent? Surely they don't sweep the board, right? If they sweep the board, I'm gonna be so sad, dude. <laughs> this is the biggest we lose to a sweeper I've ever seen, dot deck. Let's not sing the praises of Farewell or Sunfall. I need to draw my Force of Wills or whatever the heck those are. Opponent out here definitely reading. So many limited all-stars. Like this, this isn't a limited archetype. I think Larder Zombie's a limited archetype. I mean, if you have removal, you just kill the 4-4, but then I play another 4-4. Heaven forbid, though, I find that, that fourth land. Then I start pooping birds. Yes. Are they gonna give this minus four, minus four? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay, go for it, go for it. Get it, get it. Like, does it just keep drawing cards or something? Is it, And then, like, combo off with Urza? I'm just not good at magic, Mom. I think that's the problem. So that's free. That's on the house. Pass. You know what? I'm going to just play into a sweeper. Screw it. Here we go. I'm going to try to scry so I have lands at the top. They know if I find a land, I can start counterspelling them back, but if they sweep the board, you pretty much win, right? Well, that's not very cash money of you, opponent. Hold on, I thought we rule zeroed out interaction. Uh-oh. There goes Surge. Not sweet baby Surge. We wanted that. We wanted Surge to live. Okay, I need a land. Deck, I need a land. Can I please get a land? Luckily, we've gained so much life that these pecs don't matter. I think I'm gonna lose my Knight of the Errant again. Now that I've actually used my Knight of Errant, I do want to Surveil on upkeep as opposed to before. You got it. All right, so Surveil again. I'm gaming. There we go. Is there a mass blink effect in this game? I think this. there's no way this opponent doesn't play Elish Norn. So that's the, the biggest concern here, right? There's no way this opponent doesn't play Elish Norn. Pass the turn, let me live. Don't play Elish Norn. If they play Elish Norn overcharged Amalgam, it's big caca. It's big caca. Oh, it's the Phyrexian foreskin. We're okay. I'll have to do a lot to kill it, but we could get there. And remember, we have a lot of surveils here. Opponent is definitely a blink deck. I think their like original game plan is to Phyrexian foreskin at a, a, an earlier point of the game and then just flicker it. I think that's their game plan. So they've got a lot of blinking effects. I assume they'll be able to use like flicker, like Loran and stuff like that. So I can surveil one more time. Don't want the land now. I've got enough. I'm looking for a counter spell or anything like that. That'd be super chill. Like a, a free one. Oh my. Wait, is the game bugged or did I just throw 50 copies of... Okay, I did. I did actually just throw that many. I had to verify. Sorry. There's the other white man I needed for Elish Norn. But you know what? I'll find one of my other white lands, right? There's a lot of white lands in our deck. So I'm not too concerned about that. They know about Overcharged Amalgam, by the way. Oh, sick. Cool, another blue land. I don't need it, but whatever. Thank you. Good boy. That's a doggo. If I've ever seen one, that'll resolve. I'm going to probably save all these birds, for those that are wondering, why didn't I attack, to block the big flesh gorger. Sure, you got it. I want my defenders. Remember, my defenders are more value when I have a wingman or chaplain. All I need to do is find is like one of my counter spells or something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and tap these down. Let's start surveilling. I want to find another white source. There we go. I'll keep that on top. Don't need to surveil anymore. I know exactly what's on top. Let's just go to combat. We killed the big one. Now I have a white source. I'll probably start attacking now in the air for one. Nothing here is reach, right? I can't tap out until I find like my uh, artistic refusal. Now, if you're wondering why, didn't, again, I didn't block with any of the other units. I had to block. 
I wanted to make sure that we didn't just get like dumpstered. Like example, like larder is more defenders. So we want to hold on to all of our defenders. I'll sack a bird. Why not? Sure. Three, four. Let's see what they do at the end of their turn. I really think we should be playing more artistic refusals. 34 cards. We got to get there eventually or another amalgam. One of the two. I just need counter spells. Don't care what it is. I just need a counter spell. There it is. Take my turn. All right. Do we make more birds? One, two, three, four, five. Or do we play the big one? I think we want to play birds, actually. Birds is pretty good here. So much life here. We're going to gain so much life here. Oh, God. With eight birds online, we can swing in a clock that's better than three damage. <laughs> or better than one damage. At some point here, someone's actually going to go below their starting health total. Just give me a minute, all right? Sure, you got it. They can kill something, I guess. Drawing two cards is probably better from the opponent. For sure. Birdemic, here we go. That card matters. Elish Norn matters because we really need to make sure we have the ability to counter spell and like also have ETBs trigger. We need a lot of ETBs, like overcharged amalgam, stuff like that, especially considering that we don't interact. I'm gonna throw away Ledger Shredder here. One, two, three, four, five. They're gonna do this again? Can I scry and... Yeah, okay. I think I can still scry. Wait till the end of their turn. One, two, three. I mean, at some point, they got to draw probably another Elish Norn. I think that's coming next turn. Maybe they tap this Lauren into the third path now. Wait, are they are they on the Millis out game plan? I kind of love that. Why didn't I scry before the draw? Really got to make sure here. Let's see if we can uh, surveil one. That is another bird mom. So yeah, we'll take it. We take as many bird moms as we can get. Now I scry again. That's removal, but that's not a counter spell, right? So I would rather have a counter spell. Like removing any something right now doesn't do much. I want to activate the larder zombie on this turn right now. Don't need that. And plus I get value from it later. Don't want that either. I don't need another land. Mirex kind of bad. I think the game plan is just to swing out. All attack, up in the air. Oh, wow. And you know what's great? Defender means I can't misplay as much. Uh, I'll get two birds. I pretty much have to pray here that they don't hit another Wandering Emperor or Eternal Wanderer. Come on, that's a chance. That's a chance at a counterspell? Yeah, this is the card that, like, Mom, all these new sets, none of those even broke out. You know what's a, what's a breakout card? Larder Zombie. Okay, mom. Uh, actually, mom, not that big a deal right now. I can bounce it. That's fine. Sure. I can bounce it because of Otawara. It doesn't stop them in, like from dying either. Okay, sure. At the beginning, uh, as it enters the battlefield, like so what they draw a ton of cards, right? Oh, okay, cool. I can do it now. Send that back upstairs. Okay, I didn't want any of those cards. But that's fine. They're not drawing four uh, because we answered the mom before that. So sorry, mommy. You won't be doing what you want to do today. All right, let's see what we can draw out of this. Tap, tap, and tap. I might just animate and start swinging here. Yeah, I'm going to just animate and start swinging. Let's just go. Defender. How much is that in the air? 10? I think, hold on. Is that enough? Because they'll just keep blocking. I don't have enough to go mom on top of this, right? And they can pay the one. So actually cancel. Cancel that. You know, I'm somewhat of a Elish Norn enthusiast myself. They have the mana to pay. So I, I that's why I chose not to actually um, do anything here. Just realized I could have been doing this. Don't care if they play mom. Mom doesn't do anything now. What I care about is whatever big finisher they might have. Sure, they can have Doggo. Doggo's good. They need a sweeper. So if they have Eternal Wanderer, they lose. Or we lose. So I have to counter Eternal Wanderer. Sure, draw some cards. Go for it. Draw two more cards. Three, six, nine. They have nine mana. Potentially two more if they're playing with some artifacts. <laughs> I think this is kind of a real hand. I'm going to keep this. We go Mirex, Larder Zombie. 
Uh, yeah. Mirex Larder Zombie. Next turn we go Lunark Veteran plus Bulwark. It's, wow, that's so sad. That's the one thing I don't want to block because it's a three power, but whatever. Hopefully we can get around that. Here we go. So, boom, Lunark Veteran, Walking Bulwark, pass. Got the mana I need to do everything I need. End step, I can Surveil. Sure. End Hostilities is real good here. Oh, man, that's such a feel bad. I really wanted that. I guess that's not bad, right? Like, I could still make use of the 4-4. Four four, so sign me up, I guess. And it's not ideal right now, because I may not get a ton of hits, but I could at least get a 4-4. Four four. Oh my god, that's a ton of hits. Honestly, greatest hits I've ever seen. Better than almost all my other hits. The Chicken Nugget has arrived. Gotta try to block here on the Bloodthirsty Adversary. That's fine. Play with fire, gets rid of my, my knight. I can live with that. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. Oh, we love this. Oh my god, and we love that. Okay, I'm back up to 15. <laughs> I absolutely cannot tell if this deck is the truth or not, but it's a lot of damn fun. The Surge Engine was cool. It's a nice defender that can actually shift gears. Yeah, I think after playing this, I really want to add more artistic reversals. That card is, that card is sweet. I think at least three. You know, at first I didn't really like Overcharged Amalgam. I thought it was a bit clunky, but the fact that you can just go find it with Knight Errant to get you a counterspell, that felt pretty darn good. We have no real removal, so that's where I assume like maybe something like a sideboard is for if we were trying to go into best of three. But in best of one, you can just sometimes Sometimes out gain, out just do whatever your opponent is. You can get so much tempo that it's hard for an opponent to come back. So artistic reversal probably or refusal, probably something I want to add more of. Thanks for watching this video. Appreciate all the love uh, for all the MTG Goldfish content. Thanks for swinging by my streams. Thanks Twitch chat for bringing me this deck so I can make a video around it. You're all awesome. Have a good one. I'll see you at the next one. Peace.